with a longer stitch, stay stitch, in other words, sew along the seam line of all the curves, the armholes and the necklines. Stay stitching prevents the curves from stretching out of shape while you fit the body. So the shoulder dart in the back Stay stitch along the seam lines on the armholes. Stay stitching around the neck curves. and the back shoulder dart on the other side of the back muslin piece. I'm going to sew all of the darts so that they are on the outside of the garment. This will make it much easier to change anything while fitting the model. I'm using a pin here to make sure that the outside of the dart at the waist is a perfect fit from front to back, that they align so that when I sew the dart, it's sewn perfectly on both sides. Taking the front piece, now I will stay stitch around the curves, the neckline, and the armholes, and also sew all of the darts together to the outside of the garment. I'm sewing from the shoulder at the neckline to the center front and then flipping it. This way you're sewing the curve from the high to the low point. That way they're sewn in the same direction, the fabric is pushed in the same direction, and one does not warp and become a different shape than the other side.
sewing on the armhole curve from the correct seam line. I'm sewing from the underarm to the top of the shoulder. When you're sewing curves, just go slowly and keep an eye on the outer edge. Find a mark on the plate, either the half inch seam or even use a piece of tape to mark where you want the seam allowance to be and just curve the fabric around so it's st the sewing stays right on the seam line. Sewing the front shoulder dart from the middle of the shoulder to the apex line. If you notice, I'm not cutting the threads at the tip of the darts short. I'm leaving them long for now. Now I'm folding the center line of the vertical darts going up the front, and I will sew all four of these darts. Take your pins out before you sew over them. When you sew over a pin, often it dulls the needle and leaves a little burr that might snag better fabrics later on.
What you don't see is that I'm just creasing the length darts on the opposite side of the front of the muslin so that I can sew the length darts, vertical darts. Now it's starting to take shape. I want the side seams to be inside, otherwise visually it's a little hard to see what I'm doing. So I'm putting the marked sides, which are really the right sides together, and sewing the side seam allowance. This is a one half inch seam allowance. So when the garment is completed, the darts will be on the outside, the seams at the shoulders and the side seams will be on the inside. Let's put the other side seam together, putting the marked pieces, the penciled and marked inside, which is actually the right side, sewing the seam allowances at one half inch. Now I'm putting the shoulder seams together, right sides together, finger pressing the dart to go towards the center front and back. See, I've actually pinned it down so it doesn't shift in sewing. 
and then I'm starting at the neckline and sewing out to the shoulder tip. Both of the darts lay right on top of each other. They are aligned and they're facing the center back or otherwise facing the neckline away from the shoulder and arm. Let's repeat this on the other side. Finger pressing the dart flat and towards the neckline or center front and pinning it well below the seam allowance to stabilize it. Aligning the back shoulder so that the darts lay right on top of each other and sewing the seam from the neckline out to the shoulder tip. As you can see, the lines of the shoulder darts align. Now I'm clipping the neckline close to the stay stitching. The same thing with the armholes, clipping close to the stay stitching. This way it can be pressed under to check the fit and to see where those lines actually come on the body. Where the curves are, you have to clip more closely. Where the line is straighter, you really don't need too much clipping. You can either use an iron and press this first or just use your fingers and press under the seam allowance around the neckline and baste it down with a long stitch. Make sure your shoulder seam goes towards the back. When I get to the underarm side seam, I like that to go towards the back too. So just make sure you press it with your fingers towards the back. If there is a tight place and it won't curve under nicely, clip it again. Here's the shoulder seam going towards the back on the other side.
Now let's turn under the seam allowances on the armholes. Again, checking to make sure that the seam allowance across the shoulder and under the arm going down the side face the correct directions towards the back. I'm stitching about a quarter of an inch inside the seam allowance. Clipping where it needs to fold under and it resists. Let's do the same on the other armhole. Let's press the darts over the curve. I'm pressing them towards center back. And as you see, I'm shifting it around so I don't ever smash anything. I only press the dart. I don't press anything that has a crease. I don't make any creases. I'm pressing these side seams towards the back. I can see through the muslin, so it's easy to do it from the outside in this particular case. Putting the shoulder dart on a curve, I'm pressing it towards the back, pulling it so there's no smashed area at the very bottom tip. Now in this area, I'm going to press the neckline. Again, it's on a curve, so nothing gets, no creases are pressed unless I want them to be pressed. The vertical darts are very easy to press.
You see the bottom tip of this curve, I mean the, the dart at the apex is along a fairly steep curve of the pressing tool. This will allow me to press it so that it's, again, doesn't have a lot of wrinkles after I've pressed it. It's pressed pristinely. And the vertical darts towards center front, the side dart towards the back. The back waist dart towards center back. If you notice, I'm kind of pulling the fabric where it's necessary so that the iron doesn't catch a lot of folded fabric under the iron to create wrinkles that I do not want. Smoothing the neckline, pressing the dart at the back shoulder towards the center back. Now I'm going to press the hem up. Using a measuring tape or a ruler, make sure that the hem is uniform. And here is our muslin sloper, ready to try on Morgan for a final fit before we transfer it to oak tag paper.